The Hiva 2012 XL on the Scania new truck generation PCAB chassis is an advanced skip loader. The CP14 day cab is ideal for skip operation. It incorporates the new 7 litre engine, available in 220, 250 or 280 horsepower versions, all of which are around 300 kilograms lighter than a 9 litre engine, giving a greater payload and making it perfect for this type of application. The engine is matched perfectly to the Scania two-pedal OptiCruise gearbox. The smooth automated operation means less distraction for drivers, meaning they can keep their focus on safety for themselves and other road users. Talking of safety, the new generation PCAB has improved direct vision by moving the driving position forward and to the side, making it great for congested urban roads. By taking an in-depth look at the intended operation for the truck, Scania can optimise the specification to produce a tailor-made application. This chassis with the Hiva skip loader features an additional safety mirror so the operator can check the near side of the vehicle and skip, safety ladders, automatic sheeting system, and meets all the requirements of the most up-to-date standards. Safety is always the number one priority. When operating the skip loader, you should always wear the right personal protective equipment, a hard hat, high-vis vest or jacket, protective shoes or boots, gloves, and goggles or glasses where necessary. While loading, unloading, or tipping, keep looking all around the vehicle and the loading zone for pedestrians, especially children, and stop the operation immediately if anyone strays into the area. Make sure the vehicle is parked on firm, level ground with no overhead cables. Your driver's daily check must cover the correct operation of the loading equipment, including the emergency stop button. As soon as it's pressed, the skip loader must stop operation instantly. Finally, don't forget to check that the two ladders and the boat hook are all properly secured. The hydraulic levers control the following functions. Both main arms up and down, near side jack leg up and down, off side or driver's side jack leg up and down, synchronous telescopic arms in and out, and finally, these two control independent telescopic arms in and out. Next to the levers is the tip hook switch, moving the hook up or down. Then there's a block of four buttons. Blue is the fast offload button, used in conjunction with the main arm lever for empty skips only. Green is the hold to run button, which you must press while operating any of the hydraulic levers. Black raises the idle speed of the engine. And finally, the red emergency stop button, which must be tested at least twice a day. To operate the loader, first engage the power takeoff, or PTO. The park brake must be on. Releasing it automatically disengages the PTO as a safety measure. Then simply move the guard and press the PTO button. A warning light on the dashboard will remind you that the PTO is engaged. Five more warning lights tell you if any part of the loading equipment is not in the stowed, traveling position. There's a light to warn you that the main arms are not stowed, one for each of the telescopic arms, and one for each of the jack legs. Before moving off, you must check that all these warning lights are out. The in-cab height indicator must always be set to the maximum height being carried, and of course you must never exceed the permitted axle weights or gross vehicle weight. To pick up a skip, check the area, then lower the jacks to support the truck, but not so far that you lift the back axle. Bring the arms over and check as you go using the additional mirror to look down the near side. The skip stops can be adjusted to suit the size of the skip. Put gloves on to handle the key plates and fit them to the skip trunnions, always using the small holes. 
Then check round once again before lifting. Start lifting and extend the telescopic arms out to clear the back of the truck if you need to, but only as far as necessary. Remember, extending the arms reduces the lifting capacity. Use the arm control and the telescopic arm controls to get the skip as far forward as possible, square to the truck, and evenly spaced down the middle. Before moving off, always make sure the telescopic arms are in, the arms are in the fully closed position, and the jack legs are raised. Don't forget to check the warning lights are all out, confirming that everything is in the travelling position. Most skips need covering, and the Hiver sheeting system is really simple to use. It's powered by six hydraulic cylinders, so first use this lever to divert hydraulic oil from skip loading action to the sheeting system. Use the lever marked cover to move the sheet to the back of the skip, then the extend lever to tuck it down behind the skip. Once the sheet's in place, attach the bungees as necessary to make sure the load's secure. To tip the container, first check the area, then lower the jack legs. Lift the skip slightly off the bed, raise the tip hooks, then use the arm controls and telescopic arm controls to get the right position to engage the hooks with the skip. Always walk to the back to make a visual check that the hooks have engaged properly. Move the arms over to tip the skip, but don't tip too far. If the front chains begin to slacken, stop tipping, otherwise the front key plates can turn and come out of the trunnions, and that's potentially a serious problem, so never over tip. As a rough guide, the maximum tipping angle is about 60 degrees, but always watch to see that the forward chains don't become too slack. After tipping, do the same thing in reverse. Move the main arms forwards towards the travelling position and move the telescopic arms in to drive the container off the tip hooks. It's very important to make sure the skip is off the tip hooks. If they remain engaged as the skip is moved forward, you'll turn the tip hooks too far and risk serious damage to the container or the loading equipment. Always walk round the back and make certain the hooks are released. After disengaging the tip hooks, the container can be lowered onto the bed. Then raise the jack legs. Finally, always remember to check for people in the loading area, use the correct personal protective equipment, and never exceed the axle weight or the gross vehicle weight. If you have any questions, please contact us.